This is the story of how my parents accidentally put me up for adoption. So it's Halloween night and this guy with a botched nose job comes to my parents' door. Before my dad can even say hello, he takes out a tree branch and he speaks Simlish to them. Michael Jackson whips out his brow pen and is like, a vitty kitty, which probably translates to good night because my parents go to sleep forever. But it doesn't work on me because like Megan Trainer, I'm untouchable. So my aunt and uncle take me in and it's like living with one of those troubled families on the super nanny. When I turn 11, things start getting whack. I'm talking to snakes that aren't my family. And then of course, magical CPS comes to pick me up and takes me to a place that is arguably more dangerous than my foster home. I am now fighting for my life. Trolls, dark wizards that want to kill me, but my sleepy parents leave me a fat inheritance. It also helps that I've got major riz from the scar on my forehead. It's going good, but then, then I get nosy. Basically, I lead my 11 year old friends to death to find a rock but it pays off because I see my parents again. And then I also see the guy that killed them. Well, a face of him in a turban. But I'm not alarmed because I beat this guy back when I was watching Cocomelon and I'll do it again. I secure the rock, there's no consequences for me. Well, I wouldn't have parents to scold me anyways. Well, someone does go missing, but that's next year.